Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 43. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, Group GT Series Race number three and we are going to monza for this one that is nice i'm looking forward to this race because monza is a very good track and for this one we're going to be doing 18 miles we're going to be going against some gtrs we've got four gtrs on the line here i don't know what just happened with my voice there uh two r rates three r rates four r rates because i can't count and three SLSs, so this is going to be really interesting. Right, here we go. We are on Monza. And we are going. Right, let's slow down. Make sure we get through safely. What was that? BMW literally turned me into the block on the inside of a corner. Perfect. This car has no engine now. It is literally... What on earth just happened? What did my car slip on? Because it slipped on something. Oh well. We'll regain the places now. Let's go. On the inside. We're very nice. There are some very nice cars in this race. And I do love this race so much because of it. It's the brakes. We're sliding when we're putting full brake force in. The brakes can't be that powerful that I need to bump the ABS up to two. It's already got ABS. Maybe I just can't brake fully anymore. Or brake and steer. Maybe that's the problem. I can see rain. I swear I can see rain. But the game just doesn't detect it and say that there's like 10% water. That was very good, that lap there. We've got two R8s in front of us. The R8 seems to be making their way to the front of the pack very often. Oh. The size of the wings on the R8s are ridiculous, though. Oh, sorry. I'm trying not to crash into people too much. Because um, I just don't want to be a toxic racing driver. What on earth is going on? Okay. They're crashing into me, so that gives me full right to now use all my force. I can now become toxic driver in this race. Right, and slowing down. Perfect. Nice. Very smooth around that corner there. On to lap number three.
Nice. Perfect. I'm so excited for the PS5 though. I really want the PS5 now. It's going to be fun to sort of upgrade. Because obviously we've had like... Gosh, I was 11, I think, when the Xbox One came out. I was 3 when the Xbox 360 came out. I played a lot of Xbox Original till I was like 6, and then when I was 8, I got my 360. And then I got my first Xbox One when I was 15, so like, I was a little bit late onto each of these new consoles. So it's going to be exciting to one, be like one of the first to have the console because I'm definitely going for it. But second to finally move over to PlayStation because technically this PS3 is the first PlayStation I've actually owned. Like, I used to play on like families consoles um, and that's sort of why I was into Gran Turismo but Gran Turismo and Colin McRae Dirt 2 were the only racing games I ever had on other consoles and that's all I pretty much played growing up that wasn't Forza and that wasn't any Xbox games so to be able to like sort of move to PlayStation. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be exciting. But I think it's also the ideal move as well. Because the fact that the Xbox One is going to be able to play all the Series X games for the next three years anyways. Um, unless Xbox has obviously lied about that. In which case... Not good, Microsoft. Wouldn't be the first that Microsoft has lied about something. But yeah, it's going to be really exciting because backwards compatibility, well, I can just play the new Forces on the Xbox One, but then buy all the new games on the PS5. And then I can play old PS4 games on the PS5 as well. Big brain. But yes, it will be really fun. And I think I'm getting the all digital one as well, um, just because, well, you have to download games anyway, so it's not like it's going to take, um, any quicker if I have a disc version. And I don't even buy games disc anyways anymore. It's going to be fun. Coming up to the final section of this race. To be fair, we've done a very good job at keeping it at 1 minute 47 seconds for every single lap. That shows consistency. Consistency can sometimes be better than uh, performance. Especially in um, endurance races. Consistency is key. You don't want to have one really good lap and then be knackered after it and then have like 10 really crap laps. But here we go, coming up to the final section. 
Coming up to the finish line, actually. There we go. Across the line. Another 1 minute 47. Very good. 9 minutes and 8 seconds for that race. Very good. I think we were about 16 seconds ahead of second place. So we were miles ahead. And 46,000 credits as well. Three stars. Let's go to race number four now. And I've completely forgotten what this is. So we're going to find out. GT3 Series race four. Nürburgring, yes. Five laps around the Nürburgring GP circuit. That was it. Right, here we go. Nürburgring, race number four around the GP circuit. Let's see if we can get a really lucky um, start off the first corner like we did in the last episode. Right, and everyone else is breaking. We break late. And no way have we just got up into third place. That is like crazy. And that was completely legal as well. That was a completely legal overtake. Everyone was... Um, going much, much slower. And we didn't crash into anyone to get that. So... Made a little bit of contact there. But we are now in first place. And we're about to lose it. Nope. Maybe not. Well, that was a very good start. From the uh, Mercedes SLS. The SLS has done me proud. Perfect. No, 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 no. We nearly spun the car. And on to the brakes. Perfect. Nice. Perfect. Awesome. Right, so down here, perfect. I still can't believe we got that good of a start. I hope as well they fix the driving line. His GT Sport, the driving line was terrible. Perfect. Okay, we went too far. Oh, what are you doing? Why was the car not pulling away? To be fair, I got traction control, didn't I? All that hard work. 
It wasn't really much hard work. It was just no, and we got first place. Uh, if we lose one race, it should be all right. Because there are enough races in this championship that winning four of them basically means if you lose the last one, like, don't even finish the last one, you can still win. Perfect. I'm still going to aim, though, to get those positions back. Perfect. Oof. Sorry about that. Tap that ass a bit too hard. Perfect. I do love the Audi though. I probably should have picked the Audi rather than the SLS. I think I would have felt a little bit more satisfied. Perfect. That um, second lap where we crashed, we were 0 0.004 seconds slower than our first lap. Very nice. Perfect. Very good. We didn't overshoot it this time. Perfect. We were slower than the last lap. How does that work? This is so weird though, it's two o'clock in the game and it is dark. To be fair, it's cloudy. Nice.
Here we go. Perfect. Perfect. Right, let's see how much speed we can get on this final time. Ah, not a lot. We didn't quite crash either, which is good. Awesome. Oh, we've gone very wide there. And here we go, across the line. We managed to get slower every single lap. 10 minutes and 16 seconds that took. Crazy. Let's take our money. Can I take my money? Yes, I can. And 48,000 credits. That's a very good paycheck there. Three stars. Nice. Right, on to race number five now, which is going to be around the Suzuka circuit, I think. I think it was Suzuka. Yes, it is. Right, here we go. We are now on the Suzuka circuit. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, ho. Way too hard on the brakes there, getting hit from behind and hitting in front. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 don't do that. Right, catching up with the Beamer in front. Let's see if we can squeeze past. Whilst also getting into the braking zone to make sure we can get round these two corners. Hitting the rear of the Nissan GTR in front. Accidentally, of course. Mm, way too late on the brakes. As much as GT Sport was a good game, I don't want GT7 to be the same format because GT Sport was just too serious. Oh, we've gone off the track. GT Sport was way too serious. Um, obviously the collision, penalties, that system was shite. I just want uh, Gran Turismo 7 to be a fun game like this is. Nice. Kind of disappointing that this still wasn't on... Um... Oh. Crap. That was perfect. Um, but yeah, it's still disappointing this wasn't on PS4. Like, they didn't have it on both platforms, because they could quite easily have had this on PS4 as well. Such a wasted opportunity. And especially uh, shutting down the servers um, as soon as GT Sport came out was kind of a wrong move, I would say. Come on, slow down. Perfect. Nice. 
Nice. Somehow we got to catch up with those two cars, though. Perfect. Awesome. We're getting some very good lap times there. Two minutes and five seconds. And we actually managed to spin up. <laughs> Look at the damage. The tyre marks on the track where we spun out. Awesome. And slow down. Perfect. Come on, get around that corner. Nice. halfway through the race now we still have the two Audis to catch up with though nice we got one of them and we got the second one both in one go. Perfect. Two minutes and one second. Ah, we've gone wide. Nice. Look at that. That is insane. Cool, 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 cool. Right, coming around the hairpin corner. I still don't understand, though, how Gran Turismo 6's servers were only up for about three years. That genuinely baffles me. They spent so much time on this game and then just threw it away. After three years. Honestly, if I get GT7, right, and as soon as like GT8 or GT Sport 2 comes out on PS5 and they shut down the servers, I'll be... Yes.
awesome. I have just noticed how many people and how many <laughs> stands there are on this track, especially around this section. There are stands everywhere. Perfect. Oh. There we go, nice. Go, 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 go. Perfect. Not got long left. Exactly five seconds ahead of second place right now. Where's the breaking zone? There we go. Come on, come on, come on. And across the line. There we go. Ah, oh, I'm tired. Four videos in one day. That is crazy. 10 minutes and 26 seconds for that race. Awesome. We'll take our 50,000, our three stars, and how much are we going to get for winning the championship? There we go, gold trophy. 70,000. Nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord, and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. Oh.